Good evening. We gather this day on a day that's known throughout the church as Holy Wednesday. We gather to share some of the stories of our faith from this week, which is Holy Week. We gather this evening as a community of Christ's people to draw near to one another in fellowship with God, to praise the one who has cared for us this day, to feed upon God's word our sustenance for life. We present ourselves on this day into God's keeping, asking God to accept and use all our endeavors, seeking God's forgiveness as we forgive the wrongs of others, committing ourselves in the world to God's safe keeping through Jesus Christ, who is our peace. Let us pray. Like the sun that is far away, yet close enough to warm us, so God's spirit is ever present and around us. Come, creator, into our lives. We live and move and have our very being in you. Open now the windows of our souls. Amen. Lent is an invitation to reflect, to reconsider, to slow down, to discover. Invited by Jesus to join him on the journey. Invited to humble ourselves. Sometimes that dusty road is lonely and fearful. What lies ahead? Will we be able to withstand the challenges? Will we be enough? Will we respond with joy to the blessings to be realized? We are called forth out of the winter of ourselves to reimagine our relationship with God. On Ash Wednesday, we are marked, tagged as Christ's own, humbled now, ready to be exalted as we draw closer to that place called Jerusalem. As the birds awaken in spring, the buds break forth and the animals stir, so too we are roused. We enter the city triumphantly, having discovered that we are whole, loved, perfect, now and always.
Listen for the word in Psalm 42, verses 1 through 6. As a deer gets thirsty for streams of water, I truly am thirsty for you, my God. In my heart I am thirsty for you, the living God. When will I see your face? Day and night my tears are my only food, as everyone keeps asking, where is your God? Sorrow floods my heart when I remember leading the worshipers to your house. I can still hear them shout their joyful praises. Why am I discouraged? Why am I restless? I trust you. And I will praise you again because you help me and you are my God. reading from the Gospel, John 13, 1 through 20, reading from the CEV translation. Listen to the word according to John. It was before Passover, and Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world and to return to the Father. He had always loved his followers in this world, and he loved them to the very end. Even before the evening meal started, the devil had made Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, decide to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that he had come from God and would go back to God. He also knew that the Father had given him complete power. So during the meal, Jesus got up, removed his outer garment, and wrapped a towel around his waist. He put some water into a large bowl. Then. He began washing his disciples' feet and drying them with the towel he was wearing. But when he came to Simon Peter, 
That disciple asked, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you don't really know what I'm doing, but later you will understand. Ah, you will never wash my feet, Peter replied. If I don't wash you, Jesus told him, you don't really belong to me. Peter said, Lord, don't wash just my feet then. Wash my hands and my head. Jesus answered, People who have bathed and are clean all over need to wash just their feet. And you, my disciples, are clean except for one of you. Jesus knew who would betray him. That is why he said, except for one of you. After Jesus had washed his disciples' feet and had put his outer garment back on, he sat down again. Then he said, Do you understand what I have done? You call me your teacher and Lord, and you should because that is who I am. And if your Lord and teacher has washed your feet, you should do the same for each other. I have set the example, and you should do for each other exactly what I have done for you. I tell you for certain that servants are not greater than their master, and messengers are not greater than the one who sent them. You know these things, and God will bless you if you do them. I'm not talking about all of you. I know the ones I have chosen. But what the scriptures say must come true. And they say, the man who ate with me has turned against me. I'm telling you this before it happens. Then when it does happen, you will believe who I am. I tell you for certain that anyone who welcomes my messengers also welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
We come to this evening in the midst of Holy Week. We hear the stories of our faith, and maybe we find ourselves in some of these stories. May this week provide you prayer, solace, wonder, whatever you are inclined to need, take from this week and from the stories of our faith. Go through this evening, go through the days ahead, knowing that you are blessed, you are called, and you are walked with by a spirit of all that is holy. Grace and peace be unto you this evening. Amen and amen.